So today I'm talking about a P0329 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0329 code? Well, it's a knock sensor one, circuit intermittent, bank one, or single sensor. And what is a knock sensor? Well, the knock sensor detects vibrations that come from a knock or an irregularity in combustion and sends a signal to the engine control computer, which then adjusts the timing to correct the knock. So basically all the cylinders need to fire at the correct time. And if they don't, then they could cause a knock or a vibration. And the knock sensor detects this which sends a signal to the onboard computer, and then the onboard computer can adjust the timing until the knock goes away. And so the onboard computer is seeing a problem with this, so it's going to have to be troubleshooted in OI. And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad knock sensor, could be in the wiring, there could be an engine malfunction, like the timing being off, and possibly a bad PCM. So the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the knock sensor on your particular vehicle. Since there can be some differences, it's always a good idea to get a diagram where they're located, since it just makes it easier. For example, here's a 2003 Honda Accord with a 2.4 liter, and the knock sensor would be right on the side. Here's another example of 2005 Chevy Silverado with the 5.3 liter and it has two knock sensors. They'll be located up and underneath the intake manifold. They'd be underneath these little rubber covers right here. You pop those off and the knock sensors would be right inside of there. But the first thing to do is to go locate the knock sensor or sensors on your particular engine. And the next thing to do is to check out the wiring real good. Be sure it's all plugged in. There's no opens or anything like that. Basically just keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. The knock sensors can be tested. It's fairly easy to do if you have a multimeter you basically test them for continuity there's some good youtube videos on how you go about testing them if you want to most people would go ahead and replace it but at this point you either need to test or replace the knock sensor and so if you got through you check the wiring that's all good you test it or replace the knock sensor and you're still having this issue then very likely there's some type of engine problem going on different engine problems can cause issues if the timing is off then the onboard computer might not be able to make up and adjust the timing enough to be able to correct the issue so that could be a problem it can also be fuel related there's different things that could be caused by this. Usually when this happens, you're going to get other codes. So if you're getting other codes, be sure to be paying attention to what those are. And so if you've gone through and you tested everything else out, the knock sensor is good, the wiring's good, there's no problems with the engine or anything like that, then it is possible that the onboard computer is having a problem. And so this is rare. Usually the onboard computer doesn't go bad, but it can happen in some cases. So if you've gone through and you tested everything else out and you just can't solve this problem, then you might want to test or replace the onboard computer. And so that's basically it. I just want to go over how you go about fixing a P0329 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like please click subscribe and have a good day.